In the you meantime. You can always go back to some Pac-Man too. That was your favorite. Uh, it was my favorite, except for the part where I hated it and never want to play it again. Uh, instead, uh, let's go back to Mega Man. Um, and we'll play some Mega Man 8. Sorry about that, folks. That was my own stupidity. I was trying to trying to take us make a save state. I didn't realize that was the keyboard shortcut for uh, reset the entire fucking game. Whoopsie. So uh, we've played all these Mega Man's. It's time for eight, my least favorite out of this collection. You guys are in for a treat. This is going to be something. This came out on the PlayStation, not on a Nintendo system. And since it's on the PlayStation, it's got full cartoon cutscenes and stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Snake Man is from three, Pharaoh Man from four, Charge Man from five, Tomahawk Man from six, Shade Man from seven, Proto Man, too cool to be the main character in any of them. This goofy stuff. Wildly dressed in Disney style. <laughs> ah, Sparkman, Skullman. At least it's not voice like. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's absolutely voice acted. Wow. At least Mega Man doesn't sound like a chain smoking midget. That's true. <laughs> it does not have the chain smoking midget Mega Man from fucking uh, Captain N, the Game Master. So, this is how the game starts. Uh huh. Sure this isn't the start to a Pokemon game. Uh, honestly, it, it looks more like the start to a Pokemon game, except uh, they're, they're robots or something. Have you seen some of the later gen Pokemon? I mean, that's fair. Genesect is pretty robotic and cool. Yeah, Not this is Jupiter. Yep, space. Earth, 1999. In the year 1999, high above the island of Macross, Meanwhile, a short distance away. Hey, Zach! Why don't they fight you? We are not enemies! Shut up! <laughs> I agree. Shut up! I agree. Shut up! You sound like a five-year-old girl. No! Mega Man, hurry! You must come with me! You can't be yet! Let's get! Whoa! Daddy, you have to take care of this some other time! No! So... For this insult. Didn't want to go for the animation. I guess not. Um, that's that's all bases 
appearance in this game. Strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. Just a while ago. The meteor seems to be emitting a powerful energy signature. Something a powerful one. Not <laughs> Jesus. The hands of evil. Evil? Thank you, Doctor Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Seriously. Thank you, Mega Man. If you can, please bring the meteor back. Okay. Also, you know, if you could grab me like a sandwich or something, hit the drive. Ready. So this is Mega Man 8. You're notably slower. It's getting older. I mean, it looks pretty. I'm particularly annoyed by the fact that when you slide, you don't move any faster. Yeah, roof, roof. Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Search the island. Can't find Dynamite. It's a creepy island. Uh, well, it's skull shaped, so it probably has something to do with Dr. Whale. Okay, Mega Ball. It's a powerful weapon, he assures us. It is not, in fact, a powerful weapon. So that's all it does. Oh god, you can play soccer. Yes. So, Mega Man has learned how to swim, but has not learned how to swim well. So yeah, screws are back. Except that I think in this game, there's only a set number of screws in the entire game. Yeah. One thing that is different, in this game you can use your regular gun while you have special weapon equipped, so that's something. It's useful in exactly one fight. So here we go, first boss. Found something that's much more powerful than this base. Uh, as near as I can tell, there's nothing here in this base except for a handful of robots. A robot? Arf, arf. Uh, is anything going on? <laughs> yes. I got it, Doctor. I got it, Doctor. Oof. 
Okay, so much like with the uh, Mega Man 7, we're only given four bosses to start with. We're gonna start here. Tenguman. Well, I mean, Tengu are bird people, so it kind of makes sense. Um, Tengu are a creature from Japanese mythology. And this level sort of is an auto-scroller, a little bit. It, it, it kind of pushes you. Sometimes you want to go fast on those, and sometimes you want to go slow. It's purely trial and error, which is always great in game design. At least those stone things don't just pop your bubble and not kill you up. Unless you land. Yeah, they, they actually do quite a bit of damage. But, you know, they're spikes. You know what spikes yeah. usually do? Yeah, I mean, true. This sucks. By the way. And, and imagine playing this, but with characters, like, considerably larger. And... Characters considerably larger. And with no more it's no more responsive than, than this is. So these shooting sections, you get a couple of these in the game. We ride rush jet and it's just a it's just a shooter, shoot him up. Oh, so this is how we're making that one to get. Pretty much. Not <laughs> That's Otto, of course. He was a new character in seven. Most stages in Mega Man 8 are like this, where they're split and have a couple of different segments. Eddie? He's... Eddie drops bombs. And yeah, it's kind of This section is very few. Ah, jeez.
Power shot! Probably pretty dull, but whatever. Yep. And land. And hey, it's another one of these sections. These suck. Super bad. It's annoying. Which is hilarious. I love you. I love you too. See, sometimes it's best if you go fast, and sometimes it's not. And the only way to tell is. Just trial and error. You have to memorize these stages, or we'll have a bad time. Here we go with Tango. Are you worthy of my challenge? Probably not. <laughs> so I took a bit of a come on there, boy. Fear my power. Mr. Tank or something. You tried to seduce me. Ah, It is regretful. I don't know if that's proper grammatical English, but it sure doesn't sound like it. For some reason, Tengu Man is one of two enemy or two boss enemies in this game that uh, makes a comeback in Mega Man and Base. They have six new bosses and two from this game. Oof. Alright. My least favorite from this game. Yep. Clown Man. 
clown man. Ready. Lots of toys of various characters games. Drop in worms, they drop forever. You can get that with one of the brush up here. Too. So, yeah, this is an annoying stage, full of annoying obstacles. Like these two trains. Kinda wow. wish that I was playing Zelda, but that's okay. So, we'll try this again. Ready. Yeah, the main complaint I have against this game, aside from the fact that it's really slow running, I mean, like, I'm getting slowed down from my emulator uh, randomly. It doesn't... When it, when it freezes up, that's not normal on actual hardware, but, like, uh... But the actual game does run like, slow. Like, this is not a, a quick run and gun platformer like the other like the other Me Mega Man games are. And the other thing that I hate about it is the... It's something called fake difficulty, where the difficulty of the game is based on things that the player can't know ahead of time. And it's entirely... The gimmick here is that you have to stand on one of the one of the good platforms when the little guy in the background rings the bell. So this is the mini boss. Bear coin. And so that gave us one of the rush upgrades, but it doesn't actually tell you that that's what it did. Because why would it? Yeah. Okay, so that's basically rush search from Mega Man. Uh, Mega Man 7. Skulls drop you down. Back does exactly what you think it is. 
and I think X hurts you or something like that. Piston go up. So these things will go along these paths, the paths that they're There's a, a solution for that, but I can't even really bother to create at the moment. Plus, I think it requires that you have. Uh, I think it requires that you have the weapon that the boss for this stage gives you. Um, screws in this game, unlike the last one, are not uh, not random, and they don't replenish. Get them here. I'm going off memory, so Yay! You may notice, too, that the tornado hold we can ride up a little bit so we can get more height. Really does not like these cuts. They, they play smoothly on actual part. Uh, what did he mean by that, Luna? He meant that I have no I, I uh, honestly it's who the fuck even knows. So uh this guy. <laughs> Sounds like someone doing a bad impersonation of Bobcat Gold. Uh, I was gonna say you sounded more like a bad impression of Sergeant Slot. I mean a little of both. Ah, I'm gaming! So, now we are introduced to the gimmick of the stage. These things will explode. Not necessarily a good thing if they do. Okay. 
This is this weird puzzle where you need to Of course, walk around because why wouldn't they? I love them to slow down. It's definitely my uh, computer and/or emulator that's doing that. Like I said, this this runs great on actual hardware. Oh yeah, you don't want to watch out for those things. What is a little hand jive thing he does when he jumps? Not much to say about this boss. Destroy his shield. Yeah. Stay towards the corners of the room and has trouble hitting the room. I'm not gonna say you can't, but you probably won't. And then when he lets this thing out, just dodge it for a while. Watch for where he's gonna come up and go. Not a terribly engaging boss, more a terribly difficult one. And I don't know what that one is either. Like, it would be nice to be given, like, you know, instruction on what different items that we're getting are. I think that's just if you uh, fuck up. And yes, the hammers can hurt you. Yeah, that's just if you fuck this up. The, cam the hammers can hurt you if they're midway through their swing. If you have a flame weapon, you can uh, get that. As I was trying to say, if you had a flame weapon, you could get that, uh, thing about what's it, that screw back there. So, fire mats. New gimmick to the stage. They're gonna blow these things up. So, we gotta move kinda quick. Ugh. Yeah, it's really, it's really bad on this game for some reason. It's definitely the emulator. There was a, an update to it not long ago, and I wonder if that has anything to do with it. To the emulator that I'm using. It's okay, it's not unplayable. It's just a kind of mild Yeah, because Lord knows you need an extra challenge at this game. 
It's not really this game. It's not really this game is hard. It's just. Oh, yeah. So that's what you want to do. You want to shoot his own bombs back at him. Yeah. That felt good. Yeah, Grenade Man is, uh... The, the, uh, the voice acting in the English version, at least, of this game, I don't... I can't speak for the Japanese version, because I've never played it, but the English version's voice acting ranges from passable to absolutely awful. Flash bomb! Okay. One more. I'm Frostman. <laughs> I'm Frostman. Best voice ever. Yeah, he he totally just sounds like an idiot. So I don't know if you know anything about Mega Man Eight, but there's a uh, a certain phrase that. People will often say in relation to this game, and it's because of sequences like the one you're going to find in this stage. We'll get to it. After this game, they wisely went back to Mega Man not having this. And here we go. It is time for Jump Jump Slide Slide. Feel free to speculate as to what happens if you fail to jump, jump, slide, slide. You die, die. Yes. It's super deadly. Oh, this yeah. That's the part where it goes slow. Keeping up with all the jump, jump, slide, slide stuff, guys? Those sequences are god awful. Oh, right. Battletoads. Oh. Battletoads is worse. But, there you go. But those see those jump jump slide slide sequences are awful. Like just just really ridiculously ridiculously terrible. Kind of interesting here with the whales dropping ice. This. No, no, no. There we go. Same thing that they do in seven. You, you use the screws to buy things. I wanted to write that, actually. That's okay. Um... Uh, 
Uh, the only difference is that in this game, since you have a limited number of screws available, uh, you have a limited number of upgrades you can buy. And it's actually less than the number of upgrades that you can get. So you actually cannot get all the upgrades in this game. Which is fun, because, you know, some of them are really useful and some of them aren't. And it doesn't actually tell you anything. Killing bats. Oh, lovely. Hey, you missed this. Oh, barely smoked that. Whoops. Because in addition to jump, jump, slide, slide, you also have to move left and right uh, to control your speed. And uh, if you don't do that correctly, then you super die. I just slid, slid, but didn't jump, jump. What you are seeing here is what I like to call bad game design. Nobody likes this. Nobody thinks that this is good. Everybody hates it. The good news is that, like, there's very few of those segments left. Okay. Praise you. Is that a you. I will beat you. <laughs> I'll crush you. I'll beat you. That hurt. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, whatever the hell that was. Wave. I do like that it now tells you how many shots you have with the weapon rather than just telling you the energy bar. Number of shots. How's it going? Will it be okay? I'm almost finished. The battery will be charged in 10 minutes. That's good. By the way, what do you make of these? These? Seems to be energy resources. But I've never seen this type on Earth. I don't know where this energy came from, but I cannot let it fall into Dr. Wowie's hands. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say those are probably you evil. Recover all the energy immediately, Mega Man. But where is Dr. Wiley? That's a good question. We may be able to locate another energy emission from the radar room. When we find that meteor, we'll find Dr. Wowie. <laughs> oh my god. We'll find Dr. Wiwi. <laughs> so yeah, this idiot. Uh-huh. 
you got anything to say about this recycled footage? Okay. What the? Mega Man, you must go after him. We don't know who he is, and it's dangerous to leave him alone. Yes, sir. Let's go, Rex. Okay. Yeah, he's super powerful. So this is Thunderclaw's gimmick. You can use it like a grappling. Oh no, I can't hit you. Oh, yes I can. All of those are weapon energy. I feel a strong sense of justice within you. Did you detect that on your justice o meter? Yep. Yeah, okay, yep. Mm hmm. Might be. Ah. Proto Man's just like, whatever. Ah. That must be it over there! Ah. I can see it! Can you? Dun dun dun! Rush! <laughs> I mean, I didn't you think you'd make it this far, Mega Man? However, I don't have time to deal with you. Say goodnight. I don't have time to deal with you. Proceeds to deal with him.
Could could you speak a little closer to the mic so we can hear you? So anyway, he's a super powerful robot who for some reason can't just do the rest of the game by himself. Yeah. Yes. This is what you people call evil energy. <laughs> Based on my study so far, the one who obtained the original energy must be a being of complete evil. This type of energy absorbs the evil in a person's mind and then multiplies. Judging by the quick rate of its growth, it'll take over the planet with evil energy in a matter of days. We must stop it. I sense the original energy exists in that tower, but the barrier prohibits me from going there. I'll destroy the rest of the evil energy that has spread throughout the earth. You search and destroy the energy sources for that barrier. Let's do it. Time to go, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, that makes sense. So, now we get four more bosses, and we're going to start here with this guy. Yep, Aquaman. Aquaman. I like how enemies respawn once they're off the screen for like one or two seconds. This is giving me flashbacks to turtles. Yes. Uh, I hope folks can, can see what I mean by this being a slow-paced game. Like it really does not fit with what Mega Man is used to fight. Flash Bomb hurts this thing a lot. Boss. 
Come here. A lot of control over like where you are in this fight. It's just constantly destroying these platforms. Squid just under the ground. You can destroy that with a certain weapon. I don't think I'll follow. That's how you deal with that. that pretty well. I actually think that any of the weapons that I have are as good against Aquaman, unfortunately. Ah, 
Ah, peas. Okay, well, I guess it's time for random bullshit instead. Well, guys, I think rather than replay that mess, I'm going to probably call it, but let's see what we can get. We've got 14. Uh... Oh. up sliding might be useful. But I think I'm gonna call it here tonight, folks. Um, I will uh, replay Zelda and get back to where I was, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll take that next time. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, Mega Man 8, uh, not my favorite, um, actually my least favorite of the, the games on this disc, and that's including the uh, uh, extremely limited gameplay arcade games. Um, it, it's kind of a slog, uh, the voice acting is embarrassing, uh, which is not very good. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for tuning in to this train wreck, and uh, until next time folks, let's quit the DOS. <laughs>